everyone, Beth from Thimble Hooks, and today I'm going to show you how to do one of my favorite stitches, which is the Suzette stitch. I love this stitch. I use it all the time. I think um, my daughter laughs at me because is that Suzette again? Everything I make has a Suzette. But it's really easy. It's a very beginner stitch. It's for all you really need to know is a single crochet and double crochet, and you can make this really nice little pattern. It just has a little bit, a little bit of interestingness. It's very cute and it's it actually works up really fast. So we're going to do that right now. I am using today, what am I using in this one? This is Karen Simply Soft. I love it. I use it often. So this not, shouldn't be a surprise that I'm using Karen. I believe this is persimmon. Yes, it is persimmon. It's a really fun, deep, deep kind of orange color. Not quite as dark as pumpkin but it's close. We'll use the hook that's recommended, which I believe on Karen's. They're all 5 millimeter. This is my 5 millimeter right here. We'll set him off to the side. Start out with a slip knot. However you wish to make a slip knot. Chain on. Slip knot on the hook. And you can do any multiple of two. As long as it's an even number, you're golden. So I'm going to go to 20 for this example today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Right? There's a chain of 20. There we go. And the second chain from the hook, which is the first place you can really work, right here, we are going to do a single crochet and a double crochet. So single and a double in, in, in single and a double in the same stitch, or in the same chain. So there we go. First one's done. We're going to skip this chain, you skip the next one, move on to this one, and do the same thing again. A single crochet and a double crochet in the same chain. Easy peasy. Continue all the way down. We'll do it one more time. Skip this first stitch, go into the second stitch with a single. and a double. We'll do that all the way down to the end. I'll meet you down at the end in just a moment. All right, now we're back at the very last stitch. You can see it's made a little bit of a design. Already can kind of see the design that it's making. It's very nice. There are two stitches left, or two chains left. Skip this first chain right here, and in the very last chain the very last stitch of every row will always be a single crochet all by itself. So you end up with an odd number of stitches. So there you go. Isn't that cute? I just love this stitch. And see how quickly it, it actually looks like it, is, it looks like it's designed. So that's really fun. Right. For row two, really simple. Chain one turn your work, and in this very first stitch, right here, the same one that the chain one is connected to, right here, you do a single and a double. And skip this stitch right here, single and double in that stitch. So skip one, single and double, skip, and a single and a double. Again, all the way down. So one row repeat. Couldn't be much easier. And if you'll notice here, you're always going into the little stitch. All along here, you can tell one stitch is bigger than the other. These are the double crochets. These are the single crochets. So you don't lose your count or skip over too many, you skip the bigger one and we'll do a single 
and the double. You have two stitches left. Skip one, go to the very last stitch, and a single crochet only. Single crochet only. It's got a little bit of a swirl to it, just a little bit of texture, a little bit of interestingness, but nothing over the top and a really easy repeat for anybody to remember. Beginner stitch. This is one of the first stitches I learned. That's probably why I love it so much. Other than a single and a double and a triple crochet, this is the first time I ever did anything mixing stuff together years ago. Alright, so we chain one. We'll do one more row. Chain one, turn your work, and in this very first, very first open spot, connected to the one that you have the chain in, not way over here, this very first one, do a single crochet and a double crochet. We're going to skip this stitch, go into this one with a single and a double. Skip, single, and a double. Skip, single, and double. Skip, single. You get on a roll with this, and it's almost something you could just sit down and do this while you're watching a movie. You don't even need to watch it sometimes. You just get in the swing of it. The stitches never change. It's a one row repeat, so it's really easy keeping your head. Once you get this down, you'll never have to look it up again. This is, again, we're at the very last two stitches, so we're going to skip this guy, and we're going to go to the very last stitch, and all he gets is a single crochet. So there you have it. This example is this is 16 high. This was only three. So you can see how quickly this actually works up and looks cute. And it's the same on the back and the front. You won't really notice a difference. So if you make a blanket or any type of um, a baby blanket or anything like that. Doesn't matter which side it's on. It's always going to look the same. This is a nice clothes weave, so it'll be very good for making a bag or any kind of a blanket or a pillow. Anything like that would be really fun with this stitch because it doesn't really show through very much, as you can see, even with this darker color. It's a pretty clothes stitch. And again, this was Karen Simply Soft, which is a four weight. I used a five millimeter hook. Again, it was, this is Karen Simply Soft with the 5mm hook, so use whatever is recommended on the yarn that you choose. Again, this is a 5, is what it tells me on here. If you were going to use something else, just make sure you check the label. Check the label and use it, and you will end up with a nice tight stitch. So again, there's my crochet school for today. My favorite stitch. This is that stitch. I use it for lots of things. You'll be you'll be seeing that soon on some of my baby on my some of my baby booties and a couple of blankets and um, a pair of gloves. There's so many times that I use this, and I've used it in combination with a few other stitches, which really looks interesting. So I'll have those out soon, as soon as I possibly can. And so have a great day. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, thank you for supporting my my channel and my small business. Please subscribe, and I will hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.